Uh, good afternoon, my name is Daniel Moss. I'm the co-director of the Agroecology Fund and I'm visiting Zimbabwe uh, from the United States of America, from Boston, Massachusetts. I think the first thing that was so moving was the very first day when we saw the presentation from the children from the schools and of course that just moved me so deeply thinking about uh, these children, you know, that are facing a food system that's not very healthy, the one that's being, you know, uh, is being developed currently with kind of green revolution techniques, and then the possibilities of an agroecological food system and seeing them very excited, carrying the signs, carrying the messages about agroecology was very deeply inspiring and deeply moving, but of course, they're the ones that are gonna bring us forward. You know, I, I think that there's, there's such, uh, you know, Af Africans are famous for their entrepreneurial spirit. Um, I think that there is so much richness in this culture here and so much, I should say, from being from the United States, I've seen so much exportation of U.S. culture and U.S. foods into the African continent, also from Europe, of course. And I think this opportunity to really reclaim this thing that I love from AFSA, My Food is African, and to be able to embed My Food is African in the activities of the entrepreneurs, for them really to be able to recover, uh, restore their landscapes and recover foods that are being lost, and to be able to develop businesses using those products that are going to be attractive to consumers. I think that just spells so much of a positive future for Africa and a way for Africa to really finally achieve sovereignty, and in this case, food sovereignty. My final message is what a beautiful culture, what a proud culture. Um, you know, for me, from a place in the United States where I see the culture dominated by just a few corporations that have their brands. I mean, Africa's not a brand. Africa is thousands and thousands of cultures and landscapes and, and uh, tribes. And I think that the opportunity to build a food system or to rebuild a food system based on that richness of, 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 uh, of eating, that this richness of, of food production and this richness of businesses that can uh, be successful is, uh, is terribly important.